What's going on fellow collectors? Today I am going to share with you guys my unboxing and a short review to this newly released figure of Hot Toys. This is the Batman from the Batman Begins 1-6 scale collectible figure. Alright, this is the art box. I would say it looks fantastic. I like the vintage look of it, especially the quality. Looks terrific. It is very neat, very smooth. I love it. Even when you remove the front cover art box, it looks great very neat presentation of the packaging as well i love the color that they used here on this art box some print that he's standing on his tumbler amazing anyway let's open it and see the closer look okay right here is the instruction sheet some precaution that you need to see so don't forget to check it out first up we got two pieces extra joint Two pairs of extra interchangeable hands with different gestures. I think it's accurate to the film. This one is the bomb. We got two pieces bat rounds, probably attachable to the figure. What I mean is to the utility belt. Of course, he could hold that. We got the highly detailed front face interchangeable attachable to the head scope. Two pieces and of course the head scope of Bruce Wayne. Wow. Or Christian Bale. I think the head scope looks similar to the DX19. And the Batman figure, it looks great. However, I saw some glossy marks on the chest, probably some moist inside the box because it's quite cold here, so that's why it happens. I guess, maybe. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Good thing it can remove easily. Just use a lens cloth or, you know, just some tissue. I think it could be easily, you know, removed. Uh, the figure looks great, though. I forgot to show you guys these accessories that in the front of the main packaging. This is the utility belt he, that he wore in the beginning. Paint apps looks great. Then right here is the harness with his first attempt of being in you know, a vigilante. Looks good. And then right here, the mask. I wish we could wear it to the head cup, but let's see later. And then lastly, the base, the tin base for Batman Begins. The print looks good to me, right? Okay, I think that's pretty much everything included in this figure. Let's check the articulations very quick. For the articulations, I think it looks pretty decent. We could still do some great dynamic poses. However, we will get some limited range of motions. The head sculpt looks normal to me because of his butt cow, so that's why it's like that. The arms looks great. Probably the concern there is the quality of the suit. I hope it's durable because once you move it, it's kind of like, you know, it's gonna tear up easily, right? But I think it looks very thick. Um, at least it doesn't have any pads inside, so we could really do some nice articulations, right? Anyway, the material that they use on the bad suit is kind of like a rubber material. It's quite thick though. So I think it's quite durable, so I think you don't need to worry about it. It's very easy to take care of it. Just like my Batman 89, it's almost the same, so I think it's gonna last longer. The legs doesn't look good, right? I'm not sure why it's like that. However, the other parts looks great, uh, like the knees, especially the ankle looks fantastic. Alright, so I think that's it for the articulation. So now let me change the head scope to Christian Bale head scope and attach those accessories. Once you attach the head scope of Bruce Wayne to the bad suit, I think the articulation looks pretty decent. Um, it's quite tight, but just be careful on the neck part. It might be a scratch or maybe discoloration. So just be careful on it.
I tried putting the mask, but I think it's not gonna fit to the head of this Bruce Wayne head sculpt. This cape looks great. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really accurate to the film. It's quite thick though, but it has some bendable wires, embedded with bendable wires. So, so I think it looks great because you could really do your own poses. And so my final thoughts on this figure, I would say it is a great looking figure. It looks incredible. Definitely a must have for those who doesn't have yet if you miss the very first version but if you have that already i think it's fine you don't need to buy this one i think the first version looks better i don't have one but for me it looks better uh, however it's a great opportunity to have this batman begins because the first might be hard to find it's quite rare and a bit expensive so this one is a good choice it looks great though of course there's a lot of flaws on this figure maybe not really really screen accurate but I think it's fine. You're probably not gonna buy it, but if you are a hardcore fan of Batman looking for this Batman Begins version, I think you should get one. I think that's about it. That's all I could say. Let me know your thoughts on this figure. Feel free to comment down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace.